Hey John, how you doing? Welcome Enjoy. back. Today with Tokyo Extreme Racer Zero. The prequel to Tokyo Extreme Racer 3. Just gonna grab myself some water. I heard that goes well with salami. Oh wow, we're getting immediately thrown into the car shop. Should I just go with A-Class? Large displacement cars. Immediately the fastest one. With powerful engine. Yeah, there's, there's a... I think there's a car. What's that one? Why did they only give you the types? Like, I don't think people run around calling their car. I gotta see E9A. I wanna call it the yellow Evo, but that's not an Evo, is it? It's an Evo 3. Okay, all right, all right. You know what, I'm just gonna go by gut feeling. My gut feeling tells me to get an A-class car. <laughs> I, might, I might be writing something very offensive here. <laughs> Somehow, even the numbers look Japanese. You see that? Well, let's go to quest. Career mode, I guess. Car change, settings, parts shop, car shop, rival system. Okay, I cannot afford anything. Let's do some racing. Let's get let's get our first go here. Didn't actually check if there's a 16x9 patch for this. So usually what you want to do, you go to game properties and you also check patches and there it is. No interlacing. Flashing my lights. Is that good enough? Yes, okay. Some points might block me. Nice. It's gonna it's gonna make it feel more alive. <laughs> Optimum rich man. Very, very loose, you see? You see how easy the car is to put it sideways? Maybe we can get some cool drifts around the corner. These games are confusing. Yeah, they don't really hold your hands, that's for, that's for sure. It's easier when you already played one. <laughs> Immediately hitting the brakes. What is wrong with you? How long does it take to actually catch up to one of these guys? Oh wait, well, I'm racing right now. What am, <laughs> what am I saying? I did play Night Runners. I swear... I swear those are bots. I'm not even I'm not even lying. There's so many people mentioning Night Runners and it's so unnatural because I've played it many times before. It's on my YouTube channel and people still keep asking about it like I've never done anything about it. Like I would not be surprised if half of those messages are bot generated. I swear there's a marketing scheme behind this. <laughs> I'll play Night Runners when it releases. Yep. New Tokyo Extreme Racer has been announced as well. Maybe maybe the Corona slump is finally over. And devs get to do what they like to do best. Hey, look back in this game. That is interesting. You get a temporary camera change to look backwards. I would say I would say this cam could be quite fun. Bought a very expensive new sports car, so yeah. So I'm up to a merch man. <laughs> okay. Wait, doesn't that one exist in the Gran Turismo? This layout feels familiar. Fairly certain I had this layout in GT7. It is a Tokyo Highway, right? And that is in GT. There he is, rolling guy. <laughs> now we're getting challenged. All right. Which means I get, I get the advantage. In Japan, they would call him Rolling Bastard. <laughs> Charming. Bad name. <laughs> Optimum Rich Man. Wait, do I get to choose? Get to choose one of the cars. Oh, it just shows me which cars have been unlocked. And it's two cars and plus C, is that it? That is not intuitive whatsoever. If you didn't tell me, if you didn't tell me, I would not understand that. Oh, what is this? <laughs> it's ordered by spoke number. <laughs> that kind of makes sense. <laughs> Big boy. They are heavier. I mean, I guess the extra downforce is gonna be worth it. Oh, it, it has this weird effect where <laughs> the background moves. Is it gonna be a cash grab? It might be. I mean, they might have they might have just seen the success around Night Runners, and you know they wanna they wanna have some of that bag. But yeah, it would be nice if they actually make a good game, right? It's a Wanderer. I don't know what that means. <laughs> But it's a wanderer! Those are the guys that make the game long to grind for. Ah, do you need those to advance story-wise? You'll have to get a feeling for how fast it can go around these corners. Like, this corner, in my opinion, is so, whoa, iconic for the Tokyo Highway. Especially from Gran Turismo. I'm extremely racing in Tokyo, how about you guys? Yeah, I actually fairly recently played the drift version of this, which was tedious. Very exhausting game to play. Wasn't bad, but it was extremely lengthy. Yeah, I like the highway version a lot more as well. Drift was not for me. This race has been sponsored by Instant Gaming for cheap game keys. Click the link in the description below. Cool vibrations. <laughs> be careful, man. The thing is fast. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? At this point, I feel like I'm missing power and grip. Look at this shit. It's just rubber band. All the shingle points for me, man. This might be, might be a bit much color. 
full mustard spec? I don't think so. <laughs> Let's get some suspension as well. Oh wow, the hood actually removes a lot of weight. Look at this. It's like 50 pounds gone. It's like all the weight loss I've had in my life. <laughs> 20 horsepower for sticker. Oh yeah, there we go, to Fast and the Furious. <laughs> but where is it? Oh, it's like randomly placed on the side. Man, that looks cheap. <laughs> it doesn't even have any transparency, it's just white. Genki also looks hella, hella jank. Spiritless Richmond Fast and the Furious. Why do I have the fat fucking sticker on screen now 24-7? <laughs> that was not worth it. It's hella ugly having that 24-7 on screen. I wonder how long we're gonna be a Spiritless Richmond. 20 minutes later. Spiritless new face. Ooh. <laughs> so much better. <laughs> I always wanted to be called Spiritless. Yo, bro, is that a Supra? Wait, what's that logo? Did you see that logo? That's not a, it's not a Toyota logo, is it? It looks really wrong. The cars were not officially licensed. Oh, so it, it won't say Mitsubishi on the back of this car, but something else? Oh, yeah, it's a Lechner, right? It doesn't say Lancer. It says Lechner. I just noticed. I bet, I bet they scrambled the word Mitsubishi as well. Well, they did a very good job convincing me I was actually driving the cars that I thought I was driving. But it also explains why they only have like those weird names for the cars. <laughs> no, he crashed into it too. <laughs> there we go. Skyline baby. Traitor Jackknife. One of the 13 devils. Good luck. Oh, he fast. <laughs> that sound. I think he just crashed. He just took a fat hit to his SP. Is it spirit points? <laughs> what does it st what does it stand for in this game? Stamina points. That's a that's better than spirit points. But I know SP is spirit points as well, usually in MMOs. La 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 la. Ooh, 10k? Let's go big. I need 35k approximately to unlock the best engine. That's my next goal. I didn't even think about cheating money already. <laughs> it's something it's something that I did do in Tokyo Extreme Racer 3. Maybe the economy in this game is better. You cheated no Tony is a game, but to you are self, you didn't grow, you didn't improve. Input tuna challenge? Oh yeah, I have to play that. I was recommended many times and it is as you say a 360 game, so I should check it out. Hey, I have a new title, I'm now simple simple new face. At least, at least we're not spiritless anymore. Hey, shout out to Simple New Face. Shout out to Simple New Face. <laughs> Lazy butt. <laughs> Did someone activate the butt spot? Seven hundred people in the Tokyo Extreme Racer. I mean, Night Runners is making waves, and Tokyo Extreme Racer is getting a new game. I think people are excited for this stuff, and so am I. Wait a second. Did we even get seven hundred viewers for Unbound? God, I don't think we did. <laughs> that is sad, oh my god. <laughs> now that I think about it, I don't think we had 700 views for Unbound. Did we? Okay, at least it's even then. Oh dude, what the hell, man. That's not, a, that's not cool. <laughs> I didn't check, but was he indicating that he's gonna change lane? I don't like games that are as simple as this, and the cars change lanes without indicating. You want some gamer bath water? Thing is, I don't think I have too many sims. I'm not sure, I'm not sure my product would sell. What do you mean? What do you mean socks? Dude? <laughs> Why would I wear socks at home? That is the worst logo I've seen. Another one, double challenge, let's go. It's like a 3000 GT or something. 300 ZX. Dude, he's flying here. <laughs> dude, I wonder if I took his life as it crashed into him. Dude, another challenge, what is going on, dude? Yo, well, let's go. Unhappy angel. Three challenges in a row? Dude, they have such a fast start all the time. You get challenged by three bosses in a row, man. This actually might be the first one that I might lose to. You know, I was thinking of, you know, getting the engine upgrade first. And I might need it for this guy. So we're gonna max out this car and then I guess we're gonna think about getting a different car. Wait, actually, how much is that? I'm 294 horsepower and then... 429. Suck. But I think that's really as much as it goes for upgrades we have. Wait, there's a new one? We unlock upgrades over time? You fucker! Wait, it's less horsepower. It's less horsepower, but less weight too. Interesting. But we didn't we didn't have that one available earlier. Oh, that's way faster. Ah, I think you actually feel the suspension working in this camera. Oh yeah, it's tilting for sure. Okay, so they don't indicate, they just change lanes. Motherfuckers. Oh man, this thing is way faster now. <laughs> I think it was good. It was good holding out for the big engine upgrade. Absolutely destroying the angel. Looks like a smurf on drugs and with wings. That'll cancel. Wait, how did that happen? Did he... 
Eh? What just happened? Why did the battle cancel? It's a wanderer that doesn't want to battle. You fucking pussy, man. So I found I found the wanderer that would give me money, and he doesn't wanna doesn't wanna challenge me. Should I try again? I don't meet his requirements. What are his requirements? I bet I'm ten times faster than his car. A level N exhaust? What's level N? Oh, a neutral exhaust. I have to downgrade. The game doesn't tell you about this, does it? Are you supposed to figure this out yourself? Or is that information somewhere in the game? Some dialogue can tell you about certain requirements, but you really have to figure it out yourself. <laughs> nah, this is the time where you go to the internet and you let other people figure it out or let the developers, you know, leak the information to the internet and then everyone knows. <laughs> Cowboy girl. What if I want a cowgirl boy? <laughs> it's very loose, you see, you can do this, no problem. But I think you have a pretty good control over it. Black Mirage. Oh, wait, I didn't check my own name. Harry Holm New Face. <laughs> the fuck is a Harry Holm? Some Arab drifting. Yeah. <laughs> Drift Cancer. <laughs> a Drift Cancer is the handling model of Unbound. If you ever have to suffer that game's handling model. God, the drift events in that game killed me so much. That was the first time I was genuinely angry at Unbound when I had to do the drift events. Haha, <laughs> wait. Yeah, I think you could. Oh, crap! I thought I could. Uh, I thought I could write this well. What does what does pink mean? Just that I lost to that person. Pink is challenged but not beaten. Ah, okay, cool. I guess now we've seen that too. Thing is, we haven't found the wanderer yet since I downgraded the muffler. <laughs> Your opponent's going off track and then it ends as a draw. <laughs> so that was a draw, right? Because I accidentally went off track, so I didn't lose. Holy shit! It's trying to murder me. That's one out pilot. I gotta say, the pacing is quite nice. There's not too much downtime in between. Right, the developers thought about this, you know, the typical length of an event puts you right behind the next opponent. I find the limitation of having a neutral a stock exhaust kind of stupid. Especially, it's one of the reasonable upgrades in the beginning. I would say, I think that the next reasonable upgrade is gonna be a new car. At the same time, I kinda wanna see how far I can take this car before it becomes necessary to get a new one. Now he won't appear because I have too much mileage. Oh, that is stupid. <laughs> oh man, how particular can you pick your opponents? It must be, must be a new guy. Must be a new guy with a neutral muffler. Or a stock muffler. And can't have too much mileage on his car. That is stupid. I, I would be surprised if they're still gonna make this, right? There's, they, they, they're making a new Tokyo Extreme Racer. I wonder if they're gonna bring back these ridiculous limitations. They're the biggest challenges for 100%. I mean, if you have a list, you know exactly what you need, then I guess it's fine, you know? And the earlier you know, the better, so you don't have to backtrack later in the game to get them. But if you have, if you know, if you know what you need to do ahead of time, you can plan accordingly. And I think at this point we do have enough money for a second car. But when I think about old ga game design, like even Need for Speed didn't really think about having multiple cars. If you play Underground 2, you have enough money for two cars with very little visual customization. Or one car with a lot of visual customization. I just took a holy fuck ton of damage from that crash. <laughs> My SP just plummeted. Like small opponents, the easier to pass. I found it interesting that I could buy an A-class car immediately. It would have made more sense to me if the game kind of forces you into a C car first, then you buy a B car and then you get an A car. But I could immediately get an A car. You only need the B and C cars for certain wanderers. Yeah, I thought so. Um, die roten Räder drehen, dann lässt sich das oben runterfallen. Dann muss man das Ding schlecht anpassen und runter. I'm not sure I like this way of balancing, you know? They're fast and straight and terrible in corners. Alright, they overbreak for corners, but they're fast and straight lines. I guess that makes it easy to develop an AI. I don't really care, you know, how you prioritize games, with one exception. I want gameplay first. I don't care about graphics, ray tracing, and that kind of stuff. The amount of polygons on my character. Make the gameplay fun. Number one reason why I come back to old games, right? I care about gameplay. It's a very intense game, man. <laughs> oh god. Oh, Wanderer. Is it gonna accept me? Or am I gonna get cancelled? Hey, let's go. Hey, I got a new name. I'm now Harry Holm Freak. Dude, what the, what the hell are they thinking of when they think of Harry Holm? Hey, we're not a sudden challenger. The game is now throwing titles in our face. No more Harry Holm. Yeah, I'm not gonna miss him. <laughs> it's the max step and da 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 da. <laughs> Yo, <Yoda> Dalt, <laughs> panic breaking. Oh, wow, he breaks just as much. 
<laughs> they are so much faster than a straight line, it's unfair. Boss time. Hey, it's Suki. Didn't she? Didn't she have a pink Honda 2000 or was it a different car in the movie? That's driving. Oh, was that in Too Fast, Too Furious? I thought it was the first one. You're right, you're right. Maybe the game is based on this. Another one? Oh, they were doing a boss fight. Hard weapon. <laughs> Must be popular with the ladies. Is that an R33? I don't know what this is. The chaser. Dude, I always forget about this car. Every time. If you, if you watched me for a while, you know that I always forget about the chaser. Wait a second. How does the game handle uncoming? My god, we're doomed! <laughs> They're a bit afraid of me, huh? <laughs> His health goes down too. <laughs> I think that's fair. Slow down to shame me. I w he was checking if I was okay. It's an actual strat. Yeah, I uh, see for speedruns. This could work. I really like this part here. It's really fun to race through. It's kind of nice that the game remembers. Or it's designed to always have the opponents ready in the same spot. Then you can decide, you know, to spawn there and actually find them again. And they have some terrible coring performance, not gonna lie. <laughs> Love how you can just block off their path and they will hit the traffic car at full speed. Volkswagen. <laughs> I wonder what they're referring to. They have my favorite car, the Molf. Volkswagen Molf. Might have a comeback here. <laughs> Cut it a little bit too close. That makes me lose if he rams me, right? Kind of unfair. <laughs> I want to see if I can clutch this out. Nope. That's so unfair. It just crashes into me. <laughs> the hell is this, man? <laughs> Midnight blue in this SUV. I don't even know what that is. It's just a box on wheels, man. Japan is full of these. It doesn't make them any better. Oh, what the physics, man? That was a bit bullshit that the traffic car got stuck. Toby. Oh, no, Toby, what the hell, dude? Who shit in your coffee? <laughs> that error sound. And it's funny, you push them, and they hit the brakes, so the brakes are glowing <laughs> after you crash into them. Oh, his, oh, his name is Kev. Oh, his rank is Caffeine Addict. How many opponents does this game have? Any any ideas? Any hard numbers and facts out there? Over 300? Damn. How many? Yes. Why is this car showing up so much now? Fucking family van. What is that guy doing? Tested me. Dude, stop brake checking me. What is wrong with you? I'm gonna say the game does have the most random titles for the player. Never thought I wanted to be an early dancer. And then look at this ugly ass car. I gotta say I have like zero interest in driving that thing. <laughs> you know what I found really cheap? That the Tokyo Extreme art of the box is the same between 2 Drift and Zero. Like I'm so surprised that they didn't even come up with a new cover. Like I thought I thought I fell for a bogus game cover, but they actually used the same image for two different games. Ladies and gentlemen, Tokyo Extreme Racer 2, Tokyo Extreme Racer 0. Come on, they're different. Of course they're different, they, ch they changed the name of the game. It's the same fucking image. <laughs> you wanna tell me not a single person in the world bought the wrong game because they looked at the picture? The bumper is different. Oh yeah, you are right. <laughs> what a, a massive difference considering it's the same car on the same road with the same background in the building. <laughs> <laughs> and the lights have popped out here and here they're close. That is some of the laziest marketing I've seen in my life, man. It's like it's like calling it the Wii and the Wii U, you know? <laughs> this, this shit is gonna get you into trouble. Like I would I would not be surprised if that sold so much worse. Because people thought it's the same game. The thing is that they approach so quickly. Draw. Oh, because we split, that's funny. Dude, he is ridiculous. I think it's time to switch to an SX, man. Like, these straight line speeds are completely destroying me. I think we're gonna have to get rid of our starter car, finally. 150k, I think. I mean, we can... I don't know. I don't know if I unlocked it yet. Just don't... I don't think I have. Oh, wait, there it is. 100k, man. I'm just gonna buy it. The NSX, to me, always felt like a purple car. Traffic! They all sound terrible. <laughs> 
Oh, there's even more tuning here. Hey, that is. Now it says hard and soft instead of just plus or minus. So I did the opposite, right? I had it at minus. I did it exactly wrong. I made it. I made soft springs and soft dampers. Okay, let's put it to the test. And thanks. Let's go. Highway poison. Oh, it's because I'm purple. It's because my car is purple and poison now. Oh, we definitely have more top speed on this. My car is a lot more snappy now since I turned the sensitivity to the max. Okay, this car is substantially faster than our starter car. I think I found the best possible tune. I'm not sure if there's any pros in here for this game. But basically I put the car low and I made suspension hard. <laughs> Should be optimal for racing, right? Boss fight. Oh boy, D2, it's a touring car. But isn't this supposed to be Mercedes? Why does it have the fake Toyota badge? I know that they are basically the badge, but that was the fake Toyota badge. So now they're sharing it with... Dude, this car is fucking low. Gotta say, I do like the much faster response. It really helps handling. Bye, Bloodhound. Sub one minute. Just like in bed. Easy. Wait, what did I say? <laughs> Feels good. <laughs> that is a way faster game now. Oh, that's very noticeable. I don't mind I don't mind if the car is snappy. All I want is maximum handling. I mean not gonna lie, the tune that I put on this car is nice. <laughs> Feels very planted already. I'm planning to finish in this game. Yeah, but not today. <laughs> oh, actually faster than me, let's go. The rubber band held us back. Okay, now I cannot lose my position anymore or take any damage around corners. That sounds impossible. <laughs> but considering how long you use a car, you kind of build a relationship with it. Like you actually care about your car if you use it for such a long time and you keep upgrading it. Is that the Wanderer? Ah, oh, he's gonna deny me. Yes, you're a bitch, we know. 300 opponents is crazy. So many. I mean, sure, some of the events are fairly short, but there's a lot to do. <laughs> TXR3 didn't have Honda. Well, this game doesn't either. It has this fake brand. It looks like the Honda badge without the... without the dash. <laughs> it's like two parallel lines. Top to bottom. I hate these straights, man. <laughs> they are so broken in a straight line. Like, what is this? You can't, you can't keep up that speed in corners. It's crazy how linear all of these highways are. Perfect for racing. Not linear enough to make it boring. Okay, Extreme Racer 3 has only one type of traffic car? That sounds stupid. Don't remember that, but that's that's weak. Especially they could have probably just copied and pasted them from the previous games. And this straight line speed is broken. Edge. Can we block him? Oh. <laughs> he hit the car now. Emulate the shenanigans. Alright, Highway Poison is retiring for the day. Does the game actually have autosave? The game doesn't have autosave. Well, then let's system crap. Dude, why would I say no to saving? I may use all this way to save my save file, and then it's like, you really want to save? <laughs> like, it's a bad thing. It's a bad thing to save my progress. So, goodbye, three and a half liter NSX. I'll see you next time. But yeah, thank you guys. Thanks so much for hanging out again. If you want to support the stream, don't forget to check out our sponsors. <laughs> guys, thank you so much for watching. Big time to come back on Thursday, and good night. Bye-bye.